Hello guys, today we are going to see how to use the destructor and uh, what are the benefits of the destructor. Okay, so before going to do that, uh, let us go and create the constructor and the destructor both. Okay, let us go and create first the constructor, default constructor home. Okay, so here I am going to write. home class instance created ok cool then I created so how to uh, create the destructor it is very simple same like constructor but you have to use the tilt symbol and uh, then home okay so this is the way so it it, it won't be accept any kind of uh, access modifier or a parameter also so it it, uh, it don't have such things okay cool so now home instance destroy okay Okay, so what is the constructor and the destructor? Constructor generally, whenever uh, any object instance created, so it will be called. So destructor, whenever that object no long needed, no longer needed, or that object is going to destroy, so while destroying time, it will invoke automatically. So this has been collected. Uh, we can collect manually by garbage collector also. Whenever you collect the garbage collector, automatically your objects, whatever you created that instance, no longer needed. So automatically it will invoke all the object which is created uh, destructor and it will uh, do that stuff ok. So, destructor will be invoked by the garbage collector or in the simple point that uh, if that class object uh, it is kind of like destructor will be invoked automatically whenever that class objects no needed or no longer exist are it going to be destroyed ok that is the thing ok let us uh, do that. So, here in my main program so this is my class ok that is fine. So, main program I just uh, create one more method called uh, static uh, y create instance ok. So, this is a method I create so, here what I going to do is I going to create the instance of the home just create the instance ok cool. So, let us skip the breakpoint ok fine. So, here my object instruction will be created. So, whenever my object instance so it will be executed then the second step I call the garbage collector to collect ok. So, this time what it will do it will going to clean it. So, that time my constructor will be automatically invoked ok. Whenever that object no longer required that time whatever the object is created that destructor will be going to invoke cool. So, let us uh, keep the breakpoint here that is a good idea. Mm, let us run this application now ok cool. So, now uh, it is coming to the first step I keep F 10. So, my class object instance created now my garbage collector start I ask to collect uh, from the garbage collector. So, once it is in work see. So, once my garbage collector start collecting, so it will automatically go and hit my destructor ok. Okay. 
it's not writing it but anyways it's hitter let's get to it's hit one second it started hanged okay one second okay uh, okay it's uh, maybe the read key right so let's try with the read line let's run now so let's okay see okay fine so this time it's right at my construct uh, destroyed the object okay let's keep again the breakpoint and let's check so it will be hit whenever my garbage up okay let's go to the next level Oops, sorry there is some reason my breakpoint is not working it's fine that's that's the operation it has to be work this time it's sitting okay fine cool continue cool so whenever that class is not required so destructor will be called invoked automatically so you no need to you can't call the destructor but whenever that object destroy so that time the object whatever you want to do something you want to do some operation while your object no longer available so that time you want to have some kind of uh, going to write some logics that you can write it under the destructor hopes you understand so con constructor will be whenever the your class instance you are trying to create that time it will be hit the destructor whenever your class instance uh, uh, that object is no longer required so that time or uh, when you are uh, collecting uh, or uh, whenever it's uh, your object is getting destroyed that time uh, your destructor will be called thanks for watching the video guys so subscribe to my channel to so that you get the regular notification like that in the new videos